Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. So in this video, we are going to talk about some important MCQs. So let's start the video. So the first question is, as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965 in case of disputes in respect of election or nomination of councillors, no election or nomination of the councillor may be called in question except by a petition presented to the district court or by a candidate at the election or by any person entitled to vote at the election within dash days from the date of publication of the names of the councillors in the official gazette. Matlab, uh, jab election ho rahe ho of nomination of councillors, tab uh, koi dispute ho gaya ya fir problem ho gai, to no election will be conducted. Ya fir wo election kab conduct kiya jayege, jab koi candidate at the election or by any person entitled to vote at the election, ye koi petition file karega within dash days from the date of publication of the names of the councillors in the official gazette. So, how many days are 5 days, 7 days, 10 days or 15 days. How many days can that petition be filed? So, the answer is 10 days. The next question is, as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Township Act of 1965, if any person is guilty of any corrupt practice, monetary penalty for illegal hiring or procuring of conveyances at election shall on conviction be punished with fine which may extend to dash rupees. Matlab election ke time, uh, agar koi person guilty paya gaya, matlab koi illegal practices kar raha ho, ya fir koi illegal cheeze convey kar raha ho at elections, matlab transportation kar raha ho, koi illegal cheezo ki, to usse kitna fine baithe ga, kitne rupees ka usse fine dena paade ga. That is 300 rupees, 250 rupees, 500 rupees or 1000 rupees. Now in this case that is procuring of conveyances at election ya fir koi uh, illegal hiring ke time pe imprisonment nahi hota hai. There is only fine of some rupees. So that is 250 rupees. If any person is guilty of any such corrupt practice as is specified in clause number 5 of section 22 at or in connection with an election B shall on conviction be punished with fine which may extend to 250 rupees. Is ka heading kya hai? Penalty for illegal hiring or procuring of conveyance at elections. So the next question is as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, if any person who is already removed from the polling station by the presiding officer because of misconducts himself or fails to obey the lawful directions and if he re-enters the polling station without the permission of the presiding officer be punished with imprisonment for a team which may extend to dash months or with fine which may extend to dash rupees or with both. Matlab polling station matlab jaha pe voting hoti hai. Vaha pe agar koi person is removed from the polling station by the presiding officer. Matlab jaha vaha pe jo officer hota hai. Usne kisi insaan ko remove kar diya. Because of his misconducts or uh, he's, he does not obey any lawful situations, then he is removed from that polling uh, station. Or if he uh, re-enter the polling station and he does something illegal, then he is punished. That is imprisonment for 6 months and rupees 250 or 6 months and rupees 500 or 3 months and rupees 500 or 3 months and rupees 250. So, एक तो imprisonment होगी या फिर उसको fine भरना पड़ेगा या फिर both that is imprisonment भी होगी और उसको fine भी भरना पड़ेगा according to the situations and whatever illegal practices he has done. So, the answer is imprisonment for 3 months or fine of rupees 250 or both. So, the next question is as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, if any person who at any election 
fraudulently takes or attempts to take a ballot paper out of the pay, uh, polling station. Polling station means where voting is. Where a person has put a ballot paper where we put a ballot paper, he has attempted to take it, or then he has taken the paper, or then he has misconducted it. Or willfully aids or abets the doing of any such act. मतलब ऐसी कोई illegal चीज की shall on conviction मतलब proof के बाद be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to dash or with fine which may extend to dash rupees or with both. मतलब एक तो उसे imprisonment होगी या फिर उसे fine भरना पड़ेगा या फिर he will have to do both. That is imprisonment for one year and rupees two fifty fine. Six months and rupees five hundred imprisonment for one year and rupees five hundred fine or imprisonment for six months and rupees two fifty fine. So the answer is, as a situation may he will get an imprisonment of one year and fine will be five hundred rupees. एक तो दोनों में से एक होगा या फिर बोथ. The same is written. Any person who at any election fraudulently takes or attempts to take a ballot paper out of a polling station or willfully aids or abets the doing of any such activity shall on conviction be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to one year or with fine which may extend to 500 rupees or with both. Its heading is removal of ballot papers from polling station to be an officer, to be an offence. The next question is, as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, a councillor may resign his office unconditionally at any time by notice in writing in his hand address to. मतलब किसी councillor को resign करना है office में से, तो वो जो भी resignation letter होगा, वो किसको देगा? To the collector. या फिर the Maharashtra Municipal Councils Commissioner और the Deputy Commissioner और the Chief Officer जब भी हमको resign करना होता है then we write like to the principal और to the director तो इस केस में counselor को लिखना पड़ता है to the collector the term of office of the counselors shall be coterminous with the duration of the council. A counselor may resign his office unconditionally at any time by notice in writing in his hand addressed to the collector and delivered in person and signed before the collector and then only such resignation shall be effective. Matlab usko collector ko dena padta hai uska resignation letter and its heading is term of office of counselors that is term of office of counselors so the next question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial townships act of 1965 a person who ceases to be a counselor for any reason whatsoever shall dash vacate all the offices held by him by virtue of his being a counselor. Matlab ceases to be a counselor matlab jo banna chata hai. First option is co warranto. Next is ipso jur. Next is ipso facto. Ya fir shar sharai. So these are the Latin words. उसका आंसर है इप्सो फैक्टो मतलब अगर वर्ड बाय वर्ड इसका मीनिंग देखा जाए तो इप्सो फैक्टो इज अ लैटिन फ्रेज डायरेक्टली ट्रांसलेटेड एस बाय द फैक्ट इटसेल्फ मतलब बट ऑब्वियस दैट इज ऑब्वियसली ये तो होना ही है व्हिच मींस दैट अ स्पेसिफिक फेनामेना इज अ डायरेक्ट कॉन्सिक्वेंस a resultant effect of the action in question instead of being brought about by a previous action. मतलब ये नहीं समझा तो for example Peter's son was born in Argentina and he ipso facto has a claim to Argentinian citizenship. मतलब अगर कोई born हुआ है Argentina में तो it is but obvious it is ipso facto that he has a Argentinian citizenship. अगर डे टू डे लाइफ का एग्जांपल देखा जाए तो अभी आप एटीपी का पढ़ रहे हो और अगर 200 मार्क्स का क्वेश्चन पेपर है और उसमें से आपको 190 और 195 स्कोर किया आपने तो इट इस इप्सो फैक्टो दैट यू विल पास द एग्जाम इप्सो फैक्टो मतलब बट ऑब्वियस दैट इस अ पर्सन हु सीज़स टू बी अ काउंसलर फॉर एनी 
vacate all the offices held by him by virtue of his being a counselor matlab it is but obvious agar wo counselor hai to all the offices he can held by virtue of his being a counselor these are all the latin words so the next question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial townships act of 1965 the chief officer shall report to the state election commissioner every vacancy in the office of a councillor matlab kabhi bhi koi bhi vacancy aaye to wo report kon karega chief officer aur report kisko karega to state election commissioner ko vacancy aane ke baad chief officer will report to the state election commissioner within dash days of the occurrence of the vacancy matlab jab vacancy occur ho raha hai uske kitne dino baad or within dash days of he is becoming aware of the vacancy ya fir kitne dino baad usko samajh raha hai ki vacancy aayi hai whichever is later that is 30 days 40 days or 15 days or 60 days the answer is 15 days मतलब आफ्टर 15 डेज ऑफ द ऑकरेंस ऑफ द वैकेंसी और विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज ऑफ ही इज बिकमिंग अवेयर ऑफ द वैकेंसी चीफ ऑफिसर हैज टू रिपोर्ट इट टू द स्टेट इलेक्शन कमिश्नर मतलब फॉर एग्जांपल अगर 10 तारीख को वैकेंसी आई है दैट इज द ऑकरेंस ऑफ द वैकेंसी और आप अवेयर हो रहे हो वो वैकेंसी के बारे में एट फिफ्टीन डेट दैट इज पांच दिन के बाद तो इट विल बी काउंटेड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन डेट That is 15 days के बाद 15 दिनों तक आप रिपोर्ट करना है चीफ ऑफिसर ने स्टेट इलेक्शन कमिश्नर को सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज पर महाराष्ट्र म्यूनिसिपल काउंसिल नगर पंचायत एंड इंडस्ट्रियल टाउनशिप एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज और आर द ड्यूटीज ऑफ काउंसिल इन एडिशन टू द ड्यूटीज इम्पोज अपॉन इट बाय और अंडर दिस एक्ट और एनी अदर लॉ मतलब ड्यूटीज जो काउंसिल की है उस पर ऑलरेडी इम्पोज है लेकिन उसके एडिशन में और कौन सी ड्यूटीज है काउंसिल की लाइटिंग पब्लिक स्ट्रीट प्लेसेस एंड बिल्डिंग्स वॉटरिंग पब्लिक स्ट्रीट एंड प्लेसेस क्लीनिंग पब्लिक स्ट्रीट प्लेसेस एंड सीवर्स एंड ऑल स्पेसेस नॉट बींग प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी नेमिंग स्ट्रीट एंड नंबरिंग ऑफ प्रिमाइस रिमूविंग ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन एंड प्रोटेक्शन इन पब्लिक स्ट्रीट और प्लेसेस एंड इन स्पेसेस नॉट बींग प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी एंड रजिस्टरिंग बर्थ्स एंड डेथ्स पब्लिक वैक्सीनेशन और ऑल ऑफ द अब सो द आंसर इज ये जो भी ए बी सी डी जो भी ड्यूटीज दिए गए हैं ये सब ड्यूटीज है काउंसिल के इन दिस स्लाइड वी हैव शोन ऑल द ड्यूटीज ऑफ काउंसिल एंड द म्यूनिसिपल एग्जीक्यूटिव अगर आपको ये सब पॉइंट्स याद रखने हो तो स्क्रीनशॉट ले लो और आपके नोट्स में एड कर लीजिए सो ड्यूटीज एंड फंक्शन ऑफ द काउंसिल सो द फर्स्ट ड्यूटी दैट इज लाइटिंग पब्लिक स्ट्रीट प्लेसेस एंड बिल्डिंग्स planning for social and economic development urban forestry protection of the environment jo bhi environmental protection hota hai promotion of ecological aspects hota hai ya fir public streets water karna ho places ko watering karna ho ya fir cleansing public streets places and sewers and all spaces jo bhi private property chhod ke jo bhi places hai unko clean karna water karna ye sab council ke duties hai and also maintenance of a fire brigade equipped with suitable appliances for extinguishing fires and protection of life and property when fire occur matlab fire hone ke baad jo bhi fire extinguishing ki jo bhi equipments hote hai use maintain karna ya fir fire hone ke baad use property and life ko protect karna ye sab duties hai council ki next duties are regulating or abetting offensive or dangerous trades or practices removing obstructions and protections in public streets or places and in spaces not being private property which are open to the enjoyment of the public whether such places are vested in the council or in the government matlab koi bhi obstructions ho wo remove kar dena securing or removing dangerous buildings or places and reclaiming unhealthy localities acquiring and maintaining changing and regulating places for the disposal of the dead constructing altering and maintaining public streets culverts municipal boundary marks markets slaughter houses latrines 
प्रिवीज यूरिनल्स ड्रेन जो भी कंस्ट्रक्शन है उसे अल्टर करना या फिर मेंटेन करना ये सब काम है काउंसिल का ऑप्टेनिंग अ सप्लाई और एन एडिशनल सप्लाई ऑफ वॉटर प्रॉपर एंड सफिशियंट फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग डेंजर टू द हेल्थ ऑफ द इनहेबिटेंट्स फ्रॉम द इनसफिशियंसी और अनहोमलीनेस ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग सप्लाई वेन सच सप्लाई और एडिशनल सप्लाई कैन बी ऑप्टेन एट रिजनेबल कॉस्ट नेमिंग स्ट्रीट एंड नंबरिंग ऑफ प्रिमाइसिस सो दैट आइडेंटिफाई करने को ईजी हो कि कौन सी प्रिमाइसिस का नाम क्या है स्ट्रीट्स का नाम क्या है उनका नेम मतलब नंबरिंग करना रजिस्टरिंग बर्थ्स एंड डेथ्स पब्लिक वैक्सीनेशन सुटेबल अकोमोडेशन फॉर एनी काव्स काउस और बफेलोज रिक्वायर्ड विद इन द म्यूनिसिपल एरिया फॉर द सप्लाई ऑफ एनिमल लिम्फ establishing and maintaining public dispensaries and providing public medical relief and organizing family planning centers and promoting population control family welfare and small family norms establishing and maintaining primary schools jo bhi schools maintain karna primary uh, ya fir jo bhi schools hai wo maintain karna bhi council ki duty hoti hai printing such annual reports on the municipal administration of the municipal area as the state government by general or special orders requires the council to submit erecting substantial boundary marks of such description and in such position as shall be approved by the collector defining the limits or any alteration in the limits of the municipal area converting dry latrines in the municipal area into wet latrines disposing of night soil and rubbish and if so required by the state government preparation of the compost manure from such night soil and rubbish ye sab jo diye gaye hai wo duties hai council ke ensuring that no person shall require or compel any other person to carry and no person shall carry night soil as a head load for removing it from or one premises or place to any other premises or place or for disposal in any part of the municipal area taking such measures as the state government may from time to time direct for improvement of the living and working conditions of the sanitary staff of the council welfare measures for the scheduled caste scheduled tribes vimukta jatis and nomadic tribes who are residing within the limits of the municipal area and in particular taking such measures for the amelioration of the conditions of these classes as the state government may from time to time direct providing special medical aid and accommodation for the sick in time of the dangerous or communicable diseases and taking such measures as may be required to prevent the outbreak or suppress and prevent the recurrence of such diseases giving relief and establishing and maintaining relief works in time of scarcity or for destitute persons within the limits of the municipal area and the last duty is imposing compulsory taxes which are specified in section 105 matlab section 105 mein kuch uh, compulsory taxes diye gaye hain unhe impose karna bhi kaam hota hai council ka so ye sab duties the ye sab aap yaad kar lo ya ek bar pad bhi liya to exam mein yaad aa jayenge ki kaun si duties hai uh, council ke kaun se nahi hai agar uh, sab hai to you can tick the option all of the above so Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have liked this video, then subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.